All right, this is for Emmanuel Robles. Um, he is uh, looking for some advice. Um, so the first thing I would say right off the bat is that you've got like the landscape for what you're doing. I think it's, it works well. Um, the problem you have is that the your your lighting kind of feels a little bit awkward. Um, and so what I mean by that is uh, pretty much just get in here so pretty much what's happening is you've got your major source of light coming kind of almost straight down um, that being said you've got this here this section here very uh, dark and shaded I get it you want it as a foreground barrier to break apart everything um, but the problem I think you're having is that there's not enough lines, uh, eye movement leading to um, your individual character or individual person. So one of the things is I'm looking at this here, and this is blocking me off from going further here. Um, but the curve kind of makes me want to go this way. And because this is buried in the sand, uh, the issue I see is this keeps wanting me, making my eye go this way. And this here keeps making my eye kind of, it, it wants me to go off the paper. Um, it's just the way my eye is flowing. It, it might be different for other people. Um, but those are things that I'm, I'm kind of looking at. The other thing, too, is if you're looking at this, you've got a tangent um, kind of going from here all the way up through the spaceship. Um, it's this meeting point there that, that kind of looks awkward. Um, so what I would say is this looks to be like kind of a fresh crash, uh, if you will. So what I would say, the, the, f the thing that you want to really kind of put in there is you really want to put in, um, you really want to put in the feeling that he, he, he crashed. So give me ruts here, like so, and then give me a pile of dirt up over here. I think that would make more sense. Um, because of the way the, the nose is, it feels like it's it's angled in there. Um, and this guy is pretty much um, kind of stranded. So that's the, that being the case, what I would do is, like I said, put the ridge here, put ruts here. I would put more space here, um, more rock space there, like it was a, you know, lucky save or that type of thing so um, kind of that's something that I would kind of go for um, because having in, the way it's crashed now um, it feels it doesn't feel buried enough um, it just feels like kind of it landed and he's he's kind of sitting there the the, the downside though is um, it's very uh, how do I want to put this um, I would say it's very uh, in need of more definition of the spaceship and stuff. Um, the other issue you have is your form of your spaceship. So the the problem you're having is your basic perspectives. So taking a look at this, um, you've got a, a vanishing point kind of going up over here. And then looking at this, this is kind of horizontal here. Um, and then looking at this, your vanishing point kind of goes up over here so there's a couple things now if these are even this one's kind of parallel um, so you're getting kind of this weird vanishing point system going on so that needs to be fixed as well so what I would say is um, decide how you're gonna have the character I think the character is fine um, the perfect amount of detail however you know the the issue that I see is that you're either trying to, um, looking at the ship, you're either trying to say that it's been buried a long time, and if that's the case, I would do more damage to it, more wear and tear, or it just crashed and you need more landscape um, effects from it, you know, from the, the crash. Um, and then if you're also saying that this, it, you know, I'm kind of torn between just crashed and it's been there for a while if you're going to make it look like it's been there for a while 
then you want to put much more damage into um, the ship itself. Uh, you know, cracks, holes. Um, you want like wear and tear from sand and things like that it's not going to be nearly as shiny it's going to be a lot more rusted things like that so this is those are things that you really want to pay attention to um, because the way it is right now the perspective is you know looking at it the perspective is gone so that basically means that this wing here is going to be actually underground which is fine but you need to to give me a determination of what what else is underground with it um, then this would line up a little bit better. The other thing is what's your form? Um, you're really losing, uh, you're really losing your form, um, especially in the upper astral, up, upper parts here. What I would do is, you know, so if this is a, uh, you know, half circle, and then this is a, another half circle, you're going to have a dome come down like this. Um, so that's just going to be a lot bigger of a dome. Um, the other thing is that you want to center this. So if this is centered like so, then when this comes down, more angled, when this comes down here, um, you almost want that curving back. Um, I think that's going to fit with the ship's flow a little bit better. Um, and then make sure it's, it's equal uh, distant. So what I mean by that is that if you're dividing this block in half, and I'm just going to draw a real quick X, then this block here is only going to be comes out to here. So you need to you need to figure out that perspective on the ship itself. So that being said, then you know this it changes your your whole outlook of the ship as well. Um, you know things are are a lot more interesting. This is going to pop out here. This is going to kind of pop out here like so. Um, and then again, keep that center line going because again, you know, things are going to just uh, uh, be put in different locations um, and give you different sheets, if you will, of get or different layers of, of effect. So I think those are things that you need to kind of pay attention to. Um, from a color standpoint, I think I think it's pretty decent. Um, the like I said, the things that I would do is make sure your lighting is is um, interest uh, unified uh, because you've got this hot hot red or pink color here, and but if you look at the and that's super bright, but if you look at the the highlights in the sky, um, you're actually going pretty gray. So it's it's that's that's at its high point. So you it, the landscape I think is too warm for the way um, your lighting is in the, in the sky. So that's another thing that you kind of fix. Um, and again, like I said, if I don't know the story behind it, and that that actually you know tells a little bit more because if you've got this guy here, um, what I would say if you've got this guy here, what I would tell you is right off the bat is you want to put kind of the the you know this is the, the the dirt ridge and then you can put and I'm just gonna use the bright pink to kind of so you're you're doing this and it's and it's gonna be in there. Now if that's the case um, you know you're gonna have a little bit of a drop shadow um, so on and so forth um, but you're also going to if you want to get age in there you know if he's like been there a while tell the story of how he's been there a while so maybe you have you know something stupid like uh, kind of a real dull pale green um, blanket that's been you know kind of put up and you've got some posts you know like this and then you can put some shade under there like so and then you know build a little camp around it so it it makes more sense um, like I said, I think you've got the idea down. I think you just need to tell the story a little bit more. And I think that's going to really push the drawing itself. Um, so those are things that you really want to pay attention to. All right. I hope that helps.